For the past few years, there is no question that the Green Bay Packers defense has struggled. And depending on who you talk to, there are plenty of reasons why. Of course, there have been issues with personnel, especially at cornerback, Demarius Randall didn't really work out and Quinton Rollins hasn't either. Green Bay still hasn't found that third pass rusher and the safety position has bounced back between strength and weakness. While the on-field talent was part of the problem, the coaching was an issue too. Don't get me wrong, Dom Capers has done some great things in the NFL and with the Packers. He coached Charles Woodson to Defensive Player of the Year in 2009 and helped Green Bay win the Super Bowl in 2010. But listening to Tremont Williams talk about how teams caught up to Capers made sense. We could all see that, and when the Packers no longer had the talent or playmaking ability to cover it up, everything went to pieces. But now, with a new defensive coordinator in Mike Pettini and some really nice additions to the defense, both in free agency and the NFL draft, a defensive revival seems to be in the works. In Mohamed Wilkerson and Tremont Williams, the two key free agents the Packers signed on defense, you get two players who are familiar with Pettini and should help the transition. Then, when you add in guys like Jer Alexander, Josh Jackson and Oren Burks, it's hard not be excited. And when you count on potential contributions from the 2017 draft class, with guys like Kevin King, Josh Jones, Vince Beagle and Montrevious Adams, you realize there is a lot of young talent on this defense and Patini seems like the guy to bring out the best in them all, in terms of jokers, pass rushers, Patini has a few to work with. If healthy, Clay Matthews and Nick Perry are each capable of double-digit sack seasons. Wilkerson, who can rush from defensive end or as a three technique, is another guy who can be very disruptive. Beagle and Kyler Fackrell, even Reggie Gilbert could add more depth on the edge, but inside, with Mike Daniels, Green Bay has another elite rusher. When it comes to interior pass rushers, Mike Daniels is among the best, as evidenced by his 25 sacks in the past five seasons. A pass rush is important, but the Packers have to be able to cover in the back end too. Last year and in 2016, the secondary was clearly overmatched. It has been for years. Yet, with the additions of Alexander and Jackson, on top of Williams, Dave Onhouse and King a year ago, Green Bay has a lot of pieces. Jackson and King are big physical corners and Williams can play that way too. Alexander is another physical guy that also happens to be small and lightning quick. If those guys can all stay healthy, Pettini will have plenty to work with, particularly if Haha Clinton Dix can have a bounce back year. Long term, the Packers may need another elite pass rusher to be a truly dominant defense. But when you look at all three levels of the defense, there are more pieces to work with and more potential than there has been in years, it remains to be seen how Pettini is able to put all these pieces together for 2018. But make no mistake, Green Bay will be better defensively next season, the only questions that remain are how much will it improve and will it be enough to get the Packers back into the NFL's biggest game?